What's up guys, Tripboy here, and surprise, no Let's Plays again today. <laughs> I know I said in yesterday's vlog that I was going to start videos as normal today, and that was the plan, until last night I kind of fudged it up a little bit. All day I've been ready to record. I'll restate that, all day I have been ready to record. Unfortunately my computer hasn't. <laughs> Uh, they got to about 9, 10 p.m. last night and I figured I'd start transferring some files onto my new hard drive that I bought. So I bought another 4 terabyte to back up all my stuff. Mainly my films, music, TV shows and stuff like that. Started it last night. It's still going. Currently it has 4 hours to go and it is currently 8 o'clock. Well, 5 to 8. So it's going to be 24 hours in total to have done that. And all I've transferred is 1.5 or 1.6 terabytes to a new 4 terabyte hard drive. I was originally going to back up my entire 4 terabyte hard drive that I had before. So my new 4 terabyte. I'm glad I didn't because it would probably have taken until end of the week. I mean, this is ridiculous. 24 hours. I mean, the transfer speed is currently fluctuating between about 9 and 12 megabytes a second. That's via a 3.0 speed USB port. So there's something not quite right there. But still, I figured I'd put this video up. This is going to be a little updated room tour, or setup tour. And I'll show you my entire desk setup I've got here, because I'm currently sat diagonally at my desk. That's where my main PC monitor is, where I'd normally to record to the camera there. got my big TV here for my consoles, so my little monitor's there. As you'll see, as I do... A little walk around and show off my little the changes I've made to my setup which I'm very happy with including my new controller now if you want to see the new controller I'm not going to grab it and get it up here because it's dark and I can't be asked to put a light on so if you want to have a look follow my Twitter account you'll see that I sh tweeted out a few hours ago a picture of it it's a stunning controller Xbox one sh vol volcano shadow it's called if you haven't seen it, do check it out. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm looking forward to putting that into good use. But yeah, without further ado, here is my new updated setup. Okay, so here we go. We will start on my PlayStation shelf. As you can see, it's all PlayStation stuff. We have the PS Vita stuff here. I only have four at the moment, but I will be building that collection over a period of time, not sure how long, but whenever I see one come into where I work, I'll grab it then. We have my PS4 games. Quite some... Yeah, I can't even do friggin' English at the moment. Got some quite good games. We've got Destiny the Collection, so the whole lot. Last of Us Remastered. Bloodborne, looking forward to starting that at some point. That's just my little Destiny thing I got with my expansion pass. A uh, little coin thing that comes with it. My PS3 selection. Eternal Sonata is stunning. Afro Samurai is a lot of fun. Quite a few of those I haven't started yet, but I'll be getting around to them as soon as possible. This is my PS2 selection. Some underrated classics here. I mean, The Suffering is an amazing game, and I did try and do a Let's Play of it, but I was using an emulator and it didn't really work. So I could always try using an actual console and getting... And then, uh, what's the word? Capture card. But yeah, some great games here. Forbidden Siren picked up recently, and, well, those top four I picked up recently. But, uh, but here's we've got my PS1 selection. I mean, this green thing I've had since I was quite young. And they are in order, or well, they were. I'd probably change it now. But yeah, Wipeout 3 Special Edition is my favourite. I absolutely love that game. The soundtrack is amazing. Got Quake 2, because it was a lot of fun playing split screen with my friends. Street Racer, the Mario Kart clone. Obviously Mortal Kombat Trilogy being like all the original games together, or characters in one game. I'd probably change the bottom half of that now. Put in maybe some of these ones up here. But that's my PlayStation shelf with my Xbox One S stand, which I don't really need, so I could put that away at some point. 
The next shelf, as I stand up, we have my very dusty PS3. <laughs> it hasn't been used in a little while. With the rest of my PS3 games. Now this this little selection here, these are the ones which I'll be starting soon. Or the ones that I'll be starting next. They're not in any particular order. The PS1 games, ones I picked up recently which I'll be starting. I basically choose like up to five games from each machine. Put them to one side and go through those and then focus on those ones. So these are the ones I've selected for those machines. We have my Xbox One games here. That's my little selection. My 360 selection. If I just adjust the light, you'll see that's the Mass Effect trilogy. So, and here's my Wii games. And we have the DS selection. Now, most of the DS games I've acquired recently, because I've only recently got a 2DS XL, which is a freaking awesome piece of kit. Now, before we go over to the main section of my room, because I'm only going to be doing this in my desk area, which is what's next. Here is my Blu-ray collection. As you can see, there's quite a lot there, and I've actually got to stand quite far back to get it all in. Now, I will say... Well, if I stand back, this bit, this bit, and this bit are A to Z. The stuff along the top, and here, these three stacks, are stuff I've bought after I organised it, and just haven't bothered to in, input within the rest of them. I'll get around to that at some point. I'll give you a quick close-up so you can see what I've got. Bit of Lindsay Sterling there. That was an awesome show. Wish I'd gone to see it. And then we have these ones. Feel free to pause at any point if you want to have a better look. But yeah, I've managed to acquire this over the last three, four years. I mean, it might not seem like a lot, but when you stood next to it, it is a hell of a lot. So that's all of my Blu-rays. And just at the end here, we have the DVDs I picked up from work. And most of these, well, this is my rewatch pile. I should probably remove Star Wars as I watched that all recently. Yeah, that's some of my other DVDs. I do have another little shelf down the bottom, down there, of DVDs. But that's a bit of a mess, so I need to clean that one up. But here we have my main desk. Well, not my main, it's not my main desk, it's my only desk. But I suppose it'd be the main side. Because we have... It's slightly different to what I first showed you all. As I had... Well, I have recently bought this. My little stand to put the TV on. Which means I can actually have my consoles all on there. I have my dual charging dock, new controller arriving today, which I'll probably put up on Instagram later on when it, well, when it arrives. But by the time this goes live, you would have probably already seen it. If you haven't, do follow my Twitter and you can stay up to date with all the stuff I pick up and maybe get hints of what might be coming to the channel. I've got my little figures there, a couple of Skylanders because they look cool. Daryl from Walking Dead, some hairbands, Master Chief, another Skylander. My PS4 dual charging dock, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I've got, yeah, I've got my Xbox One here, or Xbox One S, with some games. There's ones which I'm going through at the moment. My PS4 Pro, with those games. And my Wii, with Metroid Prime Trilogy. Looking forward to starting that. But this is my main setup, because it's got my big 32 inch screen, which will be upgraded at some point this year to a 4K. We've got my little back scratcher there, which can extend, which is very helpful when you've got an itch. I've got my Oculus Rift and controllers, a little monitor with a few more figures, my vapes, or past vapes, my two hard drives, which need, one of them needs a bit of a dust, the other little one there is new. I've got my Daryl Beach. 
my keyboard and mouse and mouse mat. Oh, we have my hat. My game board. I've got a roll of tissue on a tripod. <laughs> the tripod was for my camcorder, but I got rid of my camcorder because I never used it. And the money came in helpful paying off stuff. We have my offspring picture behind my monitor. My receiver and webcam. And my favourite section. My Final Fantasy collection. And yes, I have... Oh, here we have um, three little figures made by a friend of mine, Amy Face, for me. They're quite cute. Yeah, she used to be a YouTuber, but she stopped doing that, which is a shame because she's doing well. Uh, here is my Final Fantasy collection. This is pretty much all of them. I may have a few missing. But I haven't got any NES or SNES for uh, yeah, NES or SNES versions of the games. But I do have all of the games that they've released, or access to them in some form. So I've got like the original Final Fantasies there. On well, Game Boy Advance and DS. Yeah, I've also got some stuff up here. My cardboard cutout Vincent Valentine. My Japanese premium package of Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Final Fantasy 8 box set and a poster of some sort. But yes, that's my setup. My Oculus Rift sensors are uh, either side of the TV. But yeah, that's my setup. Oh, my guitar there. Oh, work bag. But yeah, that is my setup, and I absolutely love it. I will be changing this section, though. I'm going to be getting rid of these little wooden boxes I'm using to put them on. And I'm going to get a spiral unit or a spinning unit to put them in and store them properly. Because this is just a nightmare. Using the bigger boxes to hold stuff up. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And there we have it. So yeah, that was my setup. As I said, I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite fun doing this and just going through all my setup and stuff. I do spend most of my, well, all of my free time in this little spot here. Most of the time looking at my TV, playing console... But I do jump back on the PC occasionally, mainly to do recording and browsing the internet and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I mean, as you've seen all my Blu-rays and my games, my games collection is very small at the moment. I've only got a small portion on each format. I'm, I've got a list of games for each console I want to get. Um, over time, I'll get them all. Same with Blu-rays. I've got about say eight different wish lists on Amazon for Blu-rays. One, each one categorised, like one for films, one for box sets of films, one for TV series, one for the Marvel films, like all the MCU universe stuff, uh, one for comic book based films in general, like for everything else, like stuff from DC and Dark Horse. But yeah, each wish list is for different category. I wouldn't say different genre, but with the exception of the Marvel comic book based stuff. But yeah. Lots of wish lists. I've even got ones for games as well set up. Like one for PS3, one for Xbox in general, because I don't have a 360 anymore. Uh, one for PS4, one for Vita, one for pre-orders, one for Final Fantasy games, one for Final Fantasy guides. I've, I went nuts. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I'll probably do another one again in the future if it changes or if I have any updates to collections and things. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Videos will return tomorrow as normal because the transfer will be done by then. So I'm going to spend all of tomorrow recording, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, thank you for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.